It's so spectacular. <laughs> and it seems appropriate that we would gather in such a beautiful place as we celebrate uh, the love that two beautiful people have found in one another. Kim and I are so proud of the woman that AJ has become. She's smart, she's intelligent, she's progressive, and more than anything else, she's very caring. She loves all the people in this room like you wouldn't imagine, and she would only wish the very best for you. He's made me a much better person. And I completely mean it. It has been absolutely a pleasure to get to know Aaron. The more you know Aaron, the deeper you dig, the better it gets. I see you. It's AJ and Aaron's anniversary years in advance. And the host comes up and says, oh, I heard you were celebrating your anniversary. Happy anniversary. How many years have you been married? They kind of look at each other and they smile. And then they look at the host and they go, never long enough. It's never long enough when you love each other as much as they will. My dad once said, the way to look into the soul of a person is by actually looking at their friends. If you'll look really hard at their friends, you'll learn everything about the person. If you are the window into their soul, they've got a pretty blessed life, right? Full of laughter, full of joy over the years ahead. One of the questions that has been asked a couple of times has been why Chicago and the answer to why Chicago uh, will come as no surprise probably to you. Chicago is a place where AJ and Aaron realized that that in order for the people that matter most to them to be present Chicago made the most sense. It, it lended itself to being the place where you all could most easily get to. Probably any of us who know AJ and Aaron know that it comes as no surprise that even a day, even a moment that's really about them, uh, they have managed to turn into being about us uh, as well. And so you all have been given the sacred privilege of being a part of the beauty of this day, and it means so much to them. Aaron, AJ, today in a pretty significant way, you turn a relationship into a marriage. You undergird love with a promise. In a, in a wonderful way, two lives become one. And it all happens under this great alchemy of love that we call marriage, the sacred gift that marriage is. Love is friendship caught fire. It is quiet, mutual, confident, sharing, and forgiving. If you have love in your life, it can make up for a great many things you lack. Love is friendship caught fire. That probably could actually be the, the sort of book about Aaron and AJ's life that brings them to this point as they journey together. And for the last number of years, actually, we celebrated since May of 2020. We have celebrated AJ and Aaron's desire to be here in this moment for this reason. And later tonight, we will certainly celebrate some more.
And in light of this vision of life together, will you take AJ to be your wife that you may live together in the holy bond of marriage? Will you strive to love and honor her? Will you comfort and be faithful to her so long as you both shall live? I will. It's a good answer. And AJ, in light of this vision of life together, will you take Aaron to be your husband? That you may live together in the holy bond of marriage. Will you strive to love and honor him? Will you comfort him and be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? Also. So let me invite you to turn and face each other as you exchange your vows. I, Aaron, choose you, AJ, to be my wife, my friend, and my partner. I, AJ, choose you, Aaron, to be my husband, my friend, and my partner. I'm committed to your happiness. I respect your individuality as well as my own. I promise to remain true to you in all the circumstances of life. In times of abundance and times of want. In sickness and health. In failure as well as success. I will cherish and respect you. Comfort and support you. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Amen. Aaron, I give you this ring to wear. AJ, I give you this ring to wear. As a symbol of our love for each other. And a loving atmosphere in your home, the foundation for your life. Be gentle with one another. When disagreements come, remember always to protect the spirit of your union. When you realize you've made a mistake, take immediate steps to correct it. Remember that the best relationship is one in which your love for each other exceeds your need for each other. I can't help but remember that we talked about this moment and how grateful we would be, how relieved we might be, how excited we would be to not just be married, but to then be able to delight in this day with this group of people. Mr. and Mrs. Aaron and AJ Kimber. One another. Just thank you, everybody. It really means a whole lot to all of us for you to be here and help us celebrate this uh, this new chapter of their life. The fact that you're here uh, means the world to us. Please have lots of fun. <laughs> On this evening, you know, I'm reminded of an African praise that we've embraced. And that African praise is Ubuntu. And very simply put, Ubuntu means I am who I am because of who we are. And we absolutely love that phrase and it could not be more true than tonight. This is the original first pressed game. I got 150 of them. The words of a great modern day philosopher Robert Earl King who said the road goes on forever and the party never ends.